Yeah, hi, my name is John Getz and I'm the Vice President of Sales for the Healthcare Vertical here at JK Tech. Top three trends in the healthcare industry in the United States. Let's see, I would say definitely the high cost of healthcare still on everyone's minds. Um, even though the move towards value-based care is still underway, there's still a lot of emphasis being put around trying to reduce that cost. Um, instead of fee for service, obviously that's paid based on outcomes of the care provided. Also, I think that the growing concerns of health equity when it comes to data, um, social determinants of health, population health, and bias. That's a term that people are uh, definitely watching out for now when it comes to automating data. Also, uh, behavioral health is becoming pretty much less stigmatized, um, but it's placing more demands on populations post-pandemic. Um, also, provider shortages, not only providers, but also staffing resources, nurses throughout the country. Uh, of course, the pandemic caused a major burnout and we're still recovering from that on a regional and national basis. Uh, I would say that uh, patients are becoming more of consumers. The millennial generation are driving that move towards more of a drive-through style care with uh, app-based um, healthcare, telehealth, mini clinics, mail-in order pharmacies. They want their healthcare and they want it now. Um, also, preventive care will become more critical. Using AI and ML for deep mining population analytics and RPA or robotic process automation for orchestrating events and workflows will be more important than ever before, I would think. Um, oh, also another trend I'm seeing is that there's a lot of large organizations like hyperscalers such as AWS, GCP, Google, and, eight, uh, and also Oracle that are starting to converge the market uh, between the providers and the technology organizations. So that paradigm is definitely becoming um, more converged. I would say using automation to identify social determinants of health is definitely one way. It's making healthcare more available and accessible to those in, uh, in need, especially in rural areas such as diabetes cohorts, um, being able to bring preventative care programs, uh, address food deserts, which are something that are being talked about a lot more, and just healthy eating and healthy eating habits and regional care programs. Um, another one is revenue cycle management automation. Of course, that helps to improve the billing, scheduling, approvals, and other administrative and heavy resource tasks usually a good uh, resource to leverage or use case to leverage. And then finally, fair and balanced AI and ML ethics. Um, now promoting equitable outcomes, preventing unnecessary bias amongst populations is something that's truly being leveraged more uh, using technology.